Can you tell me what was there to love about Princeton? Oh, how can you ask? I mean, it's been part of my life since I was a, a kid. It was a tremendous feeling to have responsibility for a place as important as Princeton. For much of the 20th century, Bob Goheen's life was at Princeton. And for a good portion of that time, the life of Princeton depended on Bob Goheen. During his presidency, the world's issues became Princeton's issues. He became, at 37, the third youngest president in Princeton's history. Professor Goheen's election was announced by Harold H. Helm, chairman of the executive committee of the University Board of Trustees. There were five trustees, uh, the senior most of the trustees. We chatted a little while, they gave me a glass of sherry, and they said they wanted me to be president of the university. And I almost went through the floor, but I said, yes, I, I, I would try it. He was described by his predecessor as an intellectual who can hit 225-yard drives down the fairway. If one believes as intensely in the importance of a liberal education for our times as I do, then Princeton is a wonderful place to work for. I asked Harold Helm, the ranking trustee, the chairman of the executive committee, if he would head a committee to study the issue of co-education. And Harold said, but I don't believe in it. <laughs> and I said, Harold, I didn't ask you to believe in it. I asked you to study it. Princeton University in Princeton, New Jersey, today announced the end of its all-male educational tradition. It's like making history. I'm a pioneer. In retrospect, is there anything you wish you could have done differently? I, I hate to sound like President Bush because I think things went uh, well. We like education. Diversity, pushing the effort to get more blacks and other minorities into the university body, whether it be student body or Everybody. faculty, and then the women. I think both of those changed the character of Princeton for the better. Those are the things I'd be most proud of, I think, yeah. I, for one today, feel full of good hope. I don't know what my legacy is, but I might say that I was able to start a process of change in the university, creative change, which has been carried forward by each one of my successors. I don't know if that's a legacy or not, but anyhow, it's, it's very gratifying to see that the university has not stopped and said, now we've, you know, we've done it, we're there. Uh, Let's just continue to do what we're doing.